what is the purpose of the product and work breakdown structures? These structures, commonly referred to as PBS and WBS, allow us to identify individual pieces of work that need to be accomplished in order to complete the project. The activity of decomposing or breaking down the work into smaller components or manageable chunks is called morphology. Sometimes this is called chunking down. The main reason for doing this is to help us to better organise the project. A project can be a very large undertaking and chunking down the work into smaller, separate components that are more easily organised allows managers to better understand how the whole project can be managed. It does this in two key ways that will help to develop and organise our management as we progress through the planning stages. The first of these is to investigate the logic of the product. The PBS allows us to define, display and organise the various outputs that the project must deliver. These are often called deliverables and are the primary focus for management throughout the project. The second purpose for developing a product and work breakdown structure is to ensure that the defined work is categorised and linked together and integrated into the whole project. This allows work to be allocated to members of the project team or subcontracted as necessary. Importantly, the PBS WBS helps us to make sure that all the work we have identified is necessary for the project and that we have not missed anything that needs to be done. If we have missed anything during the planning stages, then at some later time we'll recognise that something has been missed. It is then too late to allocate resources and budget, so the project will most likely be delayed and incur additional costs while we plan, organise and complete this additional work. Therefore, during the planning stage, we must ensure that we have defined all the work in the project. Of course, we cannot list all the work properly until the project is completed. However, because this is so important, we must be diligent during the planning stage and have management methods that will help us to identify as much of the necessary work as possible. Such techniques are developing activity networks, considering risk and mitigation actions, and involving experts in the planning stages. Defining all the work in the project is the primary focus for the project manager during PBS WBS development. The purpose of the PBS WBS is to help us to better organise the project by detailing the logic of the product, allowing work to be categorised and integrated into the project. In later stages of planning, the PBS WBS provides a structure for work allocation, forming the backbone of the project. Most importantly, development of the PBS WBS provides managers with an opportunity to identify all the work needed to complete the project.